SoundMinder Basic has been upgraded with a lot of V5 Pro, and we've added the Spot to Timeline feature. I've assembled a fairly large database of almost 260,000 files. With this in mind, let's quickly review Boolean searching because that's what the main search bar uses. A space is treated as an AND, a comma as an OR, and a dash is an OMIT modifier. You can assemble any combination of these Boolean operators to create a phrase. Here are a few examples. Now all of this depends on metadata, full words or terms if you will. So what if you don't have much in the way of metadata to draw from? Then you may be stuck looking through your file names, and those might be a bunch of characters strung together and not ideally suited for keyword searching. In that case, you can use the advanced character search or the right pane search. I'm going to go to the right pane first because I find it really handy in these cases. You'll notice the right pane has two modes, a live link and a search field mode. Live link is a quick way to bring back all other files that have the exact metadata in the clicked field. For example, here we have a selection, and by clicking on the category, we can find all other files that have the exact same category. When we put it in search mode, however, one can enter any set of characters and search that field for matches. It's a quick way to escape the Boolean parser and do a character search directly in a field. I can search the file name, for example, for anything. It doesn't have to be a keyword term. It can be any combo of characters. Another way to do this is to bring up the advanced character search. Command Shift F on Mac and Alt Shift F on Windows. It's also in the menu as an option as most things are. It allows you to create a longer join. In fact, I can create as many joins as I want on any field with multiple options. You also have the linked filter search from V5 Pro in the left pane. This is designed to be a place of departure for your searches. Without a keyword, you can browse your paths, categories, libraries, composers, and so forth, and get to where you need to be fast. For example, let's say I have my best air sounds in a specific library. By clicking it, the other filters update. I can see the air categories available, click on any of them, and be right where I need in seconds. I can even apply time searches to it. Perhaps I only want to see files under 30 seconds. It's also useful when doing keyword searches because it updates with returns. I could start with something general like hit metal. You'll see the category list will update, and this allows you to quickly start browsing. Similar to the link filter is the filter browser. Now you may ask, why do you have two filter browsers? Well, they're programmatically different. This one here can be a little bit slower, but it offers the ability to select multiples from a summary list. Let me illustrate. Let's search the same thing. Hit Metal. You still get three filters, and by right-clicking the headers, you can search which options you want, and even swap the order. The advantage here is that multiple items can be selected. Do note, however, that it updates when the search is performed, whereas the linked filter auto-updates as you change. There are other browsing options as well. Just to the left of the main search window is an icon that allows you to very quickly browse your database hierarchy, much like going through your system folders. Also, when you have something selected, you can use the same folder tool to browse all the other items in the same folder. And you can also do the same thing here in the file path. For instance, hovering over any level of nesting in the path allows you to bring back all the items from that level. Okay, so now you know how to find stuff, let's look at transfer options in SoundMinder Basic. First thing we should point out is that there are two kinds of transfers. Those that involve transcoding, that is, converting and creating a new file, and those that simply pass on a reference to a target application. The most obvious example of a reference transfer is dragging and dropping right from the SoundMinder Basic browser onto some other application. In this case, Pro Tools. Pro Tools will automatically come forward and allow me to deposit the file on any compatible track. I can also drop it in the region bin. It's important to note that SoundMiner is not converting here, but just handing it off to Pro Tools as is. What happens to the file depends on the receiving application. 
It's an important distinction because there are some apps that will never convert, but play it as is from the original location. And if that location goes away, so does the file in the session, so be careful. In my case, Pro Tools is converting it because it sees that the original file is a different sampling rate and enforces a copy. If it were the same, Pro Tools would likely play it from where it is. This referenced method can also be accomplished using the Send To option. You can put this on a key combo if you like. It's here in the transfer menu. It does the same thing as dragging and dropping, but instead uses a simple key command to do it. You pick a bunch of files, hit Send To, and the Target app in the DAW menu gets the files handed off to them. Again, because they're just handed off, there's no control over naming or editing, which brings us to the second transfer method, Copy and Convert. When copying and converting, SoundMiner is taking care of the transcoding, which then means it can rename, edit, and even enrich the copies with metadata. Spot to Timeline in BASIC now has all the options found in V5, so it's worth spending a moment to look at them, here in the Preference Transfer pane. The question mark icon will take you to the V5 online documentation and explain each of them for you. You can control whether spotting uses reference or copy, but for this example, I'm going to use the copy mode. It's also worth noting that Spot to Timeline is not supported by all applications. Pro Tools support Spot, but be aware, many others do not, so a drag or a send or a bring into routine may be required. Assuming Pro Tools is running, go to the DAW menu and make sure it's selected. You should immediately see the connection prompt asking you to confirm that this is the correct session. Sometimes swapping manually back and forth between the two apps will wake it up if it doesn't immediately come forward. In Pro Tools, make sure to select a track that's appropriate for the file being transferred. And there are a few caveats here to be aware of. The most notable is, don't use a track with Elastic Audio, don't have any windows open like the task window, and no virtual desktops. Place the cursor on the track at the point where you want the item spotted. Go into the application, pick a file, if you wish make an edit, even add a pitch change, and then hit Command S or use one of the tools in the interface. In this case, SoundMiner is making the copy, putting the audio in the Audio Files folder, and giving it to Pro Tools to spot it on its timeline. Another transcoding option is the Smart Drag. This too is set up in exactly the same way, but instead of hitting Spot, you click and drag the hand icon just above the edit on your waveform player. And as you drag off the interface, Pro Tools will come forward, allowing you to drop the file where you want. Like Spot, Smart Drag converts and places the file in the transfer path, which in this case is the Pro Tools Audio Files folder, and then allows you to place it manually where you want it in the timeline. This may be a good option if the DAW you use doesn't support Spot. A third option is to use the Bring Into command, which, unlike the Spot, doesn't place anything on the timeline, but instead puts the files in the region bin. I'm going to select multiple files here and use the quick key Command B or Alt B for Windows, and it will copy and convert all the files and place them in the region list. This too may be an option when Spot is not available. And finally, the transfer history. This keeps a record of all your transfers. The most recent ones are at the top, and it can be manually cleared at any time using the submenu here. This could prove useful if you need to go back to something that you've done earlier in the session. There you have it. Search and transfer in SoundMiner Basic.